Yeah, I'll just keep pu pushing out the, the questions. Uh. Yeah, on the side note. Yeah. Thank you. Where is it? Oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. Tell me when you're ready, then My phone is on silent. Yep. Okay. 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 It's on, is it? Okay. Hey, welcome everyone uh, to today's uh, live interview session uh, for General Election 2020. So uh, today, Kush Chopra would, uh, would, is uh, not available for the uh, co to conduct a session, so I'll be here standing in for him. Uh, here with me is uh, Mr. Tae Keng Soon, uh, well-known uh, architect in Singapore, who have uh, uh, pr produced many wonderful works of architecture in Singapore. Uh, and we will be uh, seeking his opinion on various issues uh, that uh, covers urban planning and also population planning uh, yeah, forward. And, and please do send in uh, questions uh, along the way as we uh, proceed on with this session. Um, so, without further ado, um, can we just probably touch on the more serious uh, question? Of course. <laughs> yes. Sure. Yeah. Which is the uh, which is the ten million yeah. uh, population? Or the, oh, sorry, the six point nine or ten million uh, population question. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, I have this uh, nagging feeling. See, we, in Singapore, we have already five point eight million population, and yeah. and that. Uh, and as crowded it may be today, uh, we, we still have s s s still a lot of viable land that we can use. However, the government has actually pla been planning a lot of uh, transportation lines and also MRT lines. Uh, MRT line uh, buses, MRT, and also underground uh, plans for underground in the central Jurong uh, and Pongo area. Would you say that the the Instead of planning just for 6.9, they have plans for a bigger population uh, since they, they are investing billions of dollars in all this? Well, let's let, 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 let start from the basics. Huh? Um, planning, of course, is based on assumptions uh, and, and numerical assumptions. And the numerical assumptions are based on, on economic and political assumptions, right? Because planning is actually political. And, and politics is actually philosophy in action. So what is the philosophy? The philosophy in Singapore is how to make Singapore uh, outstanding and uh, relevant uh, uh, country and economy in the, in the region and in the world, right? So that's the, 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 the basic point. Now, <clears throat> when, when they project the 6.9 or 10 million population, right, it is very clear that it will consist mainly of foreigners. Because the local uh, 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 reproduction rate, right, uh, the, the so-called TFR, right, uh, is only 1.14, which means that Singaporeans are not even replacing themselves through uh, natural uh, uh, reproduction rate, right? Therefore, uh, the majority of population is going to come from outside, yes. right? And the assumption of that is that population numbers is correlated to economic growth numbers, right? But the assumption of economic growth is based on certain technological assumptions and certain uh, global market trends and so on, of which Singapore is plugged into, right? And um, But the relationship is not linear, right? For example, the 
let's take building construction. Mm -hmm. Why we do? Why we have so many foreign uh, uh, construction workers? Yes. It's because the technology in in our building systems are so backward, right? Yes, there have been some improvements in in, uh, in prefabrication and so on, but it has uh, uh, not improved a lot, right? But we should be anticipating how it can be improved. And therefore, if we can improve the productivity in construction, therefore we can be uh, we will need less number of people, and therefore pay each each worker a lot more for the productivity that they can deliver, right? And and this has not been happening, and that is why we have these huge numbers of foreign workers living in terrible conditions, which are pro producing the, the 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 terrible infections that we see. So there are a lot of wrong assumptions, right? Politics is planning. This is the problem. And, and uh, the, the growth economy based on value creation economy has failed since the 80s when, we, when Singapore touted it, right? Because we have been so uh, 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 addicted to cheap labor, right? Yeah. So that's the reason why you know, the, the, the investors right, have not been, been motivated by the government to invest in uh, technological uh, uh, upgrading and therefore the cheap labor uh, 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 method of, of production becomes uh, uh, the, the, the de facto uh, 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 technology, right? So th that's the problem, right? And, and, and the reason why that is the case is because government dare not implement the minimum wage rules. Because once you, you, you impose minimum wage, mm -hmm. right, the developers, the, 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 the manufacturers, the investors will have to look into, right, uh, uh, increase uh, mechanization and, 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 and introduce a, a productive technology. But government is afraid that then, then there will be a flight of investors, they will run to cheap countries, and therefore we will, we will suffer. So this has been the problem, right? Some, some sectoral uh, 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 differentiated moves could have been made, but were not made because you know, we, are, we were too scared. So, and that's, <laughs> thanks for Mr. Tim for the thing. That's a lot of things to digest. Uh, but perhaps we break it in small chunks, in which is more manageable. So you mentioned about the minimum wage, right? Yeah. It, uh, and, and how Singapore is addicted to cheap labor. So on, on cheap labor, is it too late for Singapore to implement minimum wage, uh, given the fear that, that some companies will pull out and, uh, and some business may fall because they are unable to support this? Yeah. No, no, exactly. You know, the, the, the COVID-19 situation has proven that the, the absolute necessity to have a wage subsidy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, the, the, the whole uh, 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 economy will collapse, right? Because... Uh, Everybody's income, no matter where it comes from, is somebody else's income, right? Because somebody's expenditure is somebody's income. And therefore, it's called the circular economy and, and, and the money goes round, right? And unless money goes round, we are in, we are, we are go, we're going to suffer economic decline. So therefore, we need to inject money into, the, into, into circulation, right? And that means SMEs, right? The small and, business, small and, and medium sized enterprises have to be boosted. But they are not right, and and yet they they they, they produce six they they produce sixty percent of the total employment in Singapore. So if you don't boost that sector, you're in trouble. From from an economic point of view, wouldn't you say that uh, by increase by implementing a minimum wage or or at least helping the wage to increase to a certain level, it will help yeah. the economy. Yes, of course, yes. But but the question is, what kind of economy? Ah, uh, right. So so this is where I think that. Uh, there is a legacy of, uh, 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 I would call, uh, poor relations with our immediate neighbors, right? Because we have been kind of sneering at them. <laughs> yeah. And, and, um, and I, I think we need to repair this. And to repair this, I think we need to, to take some very strong measures, decisive measures, right? Because in the end, the Singapore economy, the sustainability of the Singapore economy must depend on a robust local regional economy even as it engages with the global economy, right? Because if it doesn't have a robust local regional economy, right, it will be, its bargaining position with international finances will be weakened, right? So it's, it's, it's a, it's a two-pronged attack, right? You must develop your own local strength, 
right? Otherwise, you cannot uh, 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 deal with it. I mean, American Revolution. Why did the American Revolution happen? Because they blocked off the imports from Britain. Otherwise, America will still be a colony of Britain till today, right? But because, right, they, 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 they closed in, blocked off the, 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 the British uh, 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 impact on their manufacturing and their agricultural production, right? And therefore, they, 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 they succeeded. Today, Singapore, uh, I mean, America is now the, the most powerful country in the world because they, they practice protectionism at the right time. That's, that's the issue. We should exercise a certain degree of protectionism, right, which I would call local regional economy. Prosper our neighbors, right, and integrate them into a network economy in which we are the center right we provide the finance we provide the technology right they provide the the manpower the resources the markets right the demand yes. and the demand yes. we jointly work with them win-win situation right that's the way to go so for the 6.9 million or above planning it's it's actually to target residential population as to generate the gdp generate the economy but yeah. that, that's not feasible isn't it so what you're proposing is uh looking at uh, a joint collaboration between malaysia singapore indonesia where we're looking at a huge population yeah, we're talking about at least 45 million people all right so so why vex over 10 million people 10 million is nothing right let's have 45 million and that is where the the, the sustainability and the and the, and, the, and, a, and a real core of the ASEAN economy, right? We start off with the 45 million. Eventually, right, we will lead, lead towards the 650 million ASEAN population. And that becomes a real proposition in relation to China and the West and so on and so forth. So this is the future. I mean, ASEAN has been talking for years over ASEAN economic integration, but it, it, you need a starting point. And I think the starting point is the Singapore Johor, uh, Sumatra, yes. Riau, yeah, yeah. right? In other words, Sijori concept writ large, mm. right? And Sijori has pioneered all the technical and as well as the institutional frameworks of, 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 of cross-boundary uh, relations and so on. Let's use that, that and grow it more. What do you think would be the possible roadblocks to, to this plan? The, well, the, the, the main roadblock is uh, distrust, right? So how do, you, how do we regain trust in the region? I think that is the, the, the big challenge. Yeah. So, um, sorry, eh? give me a break. Uh, going, going back to the, the, in terms of the lesser re dependence on foreign labor. So a lot of the uh, proponents of, of the use of foreign labor is that if you don't rely on cheap foreign labor, your public housing uh, prices will go up or, or the shopping malls development will go up. Or well, what do you have to say on that? Uh, the the issue is actually how do we transform the economy into a more uh, 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 productive and uh, uh, rewarding economy for for, for 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 people not just for Singaporeans but for the the talented foreigners that we need to, to bring into Singapore as well that that the the reward system must be uh, commensurate with their contribution to the to the national economy right now to do that it means that our our uh, skills development our education system needs a total revamp right mm -hmm. we have to follow the we should we should follow the 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 the, 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 german, the uh, german model yeah. right the work study model right Instead, internship yeah. yes uh, i mean to some extent we yeah. have done it through ite polytechnic and the university systems right but the ITE guys, for example, are uh, locked into a certain uh, uh, lower strata yes. of the of the of the wage uh, uh, hierarchy, and that should not be the case, right? Why 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 shouldn't the 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 uh, the, the, the the plumber and the builder and the, and, and, and 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 the manual worker, the guy who cuts the grass, right, should be should not be paid very highly, right? For example. I just did the calculation. I, I live in HDB, so mm. I can see it very clearly. The, the, the foreign workers that come to cut the grass right, using the little hand, hand mowers, right, they are paid peanuts. Uh, and you need uh, many of them to do the grass cutting. But if you have a, a robotic grass cutter uh, run by a, 
a, a program a, system, a program right. system, right? Yeah. And you can have these machines running all over the place yeah. with one guy, right? yeah. who is paid, you know, four thousand yeah. dollars a month. And that can be also just sitting down with a laptop yes. and then be able to control it, right? Yeah. So one person will do the work of ten people. And that, that can, is the future. And that can also be uh, on other things like window cleaning. Correct, correct. Uh, yeah, yeah, or like yeah. mopping the floor. Yeah, yeah. Or, already, we already have these uh, 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 vacuum cleaners, right? Automatic vacuum cleaners. And all of this will come. It's a matter of time, right? So, so I think that uh, uh, the, the, the cheap labor addiction, hmm. right? It, it, it's time has come. It's, it's over, right? We should get out of it. So, on again, going back to the population thing. Uh, so, uh, a few days ago, we had uh, Paul Tambaya from SDP yes. uh, talk uh, on our show. So, he was saying that he is comfortable with a population, total population of 4 million. Yeah. Um, uh, what's, what would be your comfortable uh, population number? Well, I, I think he's, uh, he's, he's not wrong. I mean, the, the, the population, uh, uh, if you have a, a very productive uh, economy, Right, with very uh, a lot of smart people running it, then you know you don't need a lot of people, right? But I mean, if you go by Howard Gardner's uh, multiple intelligences uh, uh, model of thinking, right? Not everybody is going to be a, 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 a computer scientist, right? Right. So I think that you need to have a lot more people, well paid, doing the jobs that are kind of ordinary. Running, running hawker centers, being a, being a cook, being a, 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 even a good chef, right? And, and, and as I said about you know cutting the grass and you know cleaning the garbage yes. and so on and so yes. forth, all of these things should be automated. Yes. But but with the should be augmented, human labor should be augmented by machines, and, and it's all a matter of uh, in, investment, right? So Singapore can become a major uh, uh, innovator in terms of uh, labor saving and uh, aut automation. Right, we we can be a major exporter, you know. I mean, uh, on that point, wouldn't you say that electric cars should have been popularized in Singapore many many years ago? Uh, absolutely, yeah. there are so many things that should have been done, right? <laughs> <laughs> but because of the cheap labor uh, uh, addiction, we 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 we, we put we, off, we no, put off no. right? There, there are so many new technologies that that are very relevant, and we can we can adopt them very easily, right? Yeah, for example, the transportation, right? The, 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 the issue of transportation, let me s relate the issue of transportation and housing. Oh, yeah. right? yes, yes. The role of planning in housing and, and urban planning is to reduce the need to tra of transportation, mm. not to increase the supply of transportation, right? Yeah. Because mm. vertical transportation is far more economical and efficient then, then than horizontal control. transportation. Therefore, we need to have a totally different kind of urban planning, right? The kind of urban planning we have is based on 19th century model. It's the Ebenezer Howard's uh, Garden City model, which the Liu Tykers and the HDBs are addicted to, right? They have not upgraded themselves. They have not understood the importance of 3D planning, which I have been advocating, right? 3D planning uh, is something that was developed very interestingly in Cambridge, right? If you want to uh, follow, uh, learn from the West, learn from the right parts of the West in the right time of the West. <laughs> Don't learn from the obsolete parts of the West. Well, that's a very interesting point. Uh, in, in fact, I think you mentioned in your urban planning that you, you, you actually design towns vertically. Yes. So you have schools, you have like... Yes, yes, yes. You uh, stack them, you see. Yes, you, have the, you, yeah. have, you, you have the, the, the ground floor, which is for, for, for all the services, right? Mm. Right? Then they have the, 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 the shops and the, and the workplaces, right? And then you have the schools, and then you have this huge roof deck, right? That connects the whole island, you know? Yes. Right? I'm talking about a podium that interconnects all the podiums, right? And that is the, the, the upper level green space where you have the kindergartens and the social spaces, yeah. your community centers, and yeah. so on. Or for all interactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, then above that is your housing, right? And, and I think the, the COVID 19 situation has shown us something. Working from home is going to be the more is going norm. to be a new pattern, yeah. right? Yeah. Whether for businesses or for for, for yeah. all kinds of things, because yeah. the, the, that is the proper implication of internet technology, right? Yes, and and uh, it means that uh, we can be very productive where we live, but the household stresses are going to increase, right? I wrote I wrote that that, that essay on, yes. on the impact, right? Yes. So 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 if people are living in houses 
in in homes and they all also working at also the working day. there they're going to clash you know uh. right so the internal planning of the of the flat has to change you know we have to have a lot more individualized uh, uh, pri private workspaces uh. right within the family so right. would you say that, that like uh, public housing for like two rooms or three rooms is, is they shouldn't be building this anymore because if you, if you have to actually plan yeah. for a, a population that that would be working. No, and no, I, I, I think that you still have to have a differentiated differentiated uh. market because the the affordability levels are not uh. the same. Mm. But within housing estates, within a housing block or, or housing estate, there should be. Uh, 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 private workspaces, right, tucked oh. in corners here and there, you know, that right? people can easily access. Right. So, mm -hmm. so like, let's say even a, e e e even uh, in in the void deck, right, there could be a corner, right, where somebody has a he can plug uh, in ID his, card. Uh, yeah, uh, he can plug in his Wi-Fi there and yes. then do his little business there, right. Right. You know, uh, collective workspaces. Right. So these uh, are uh, these are these co-working are, spaces co for the rest. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. So these are innovations that are are, are, are being brought upon us yes. because of the crisis. On 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 the part about uh, uh, people not having to travel to, yeah. to work, right? Yeah. Would you say that the current model uh, poses the issue? Like yeah. because when a when an individual buys a flat for ninety nine years, yeah. he's stuck to, with a, a house in Tampines, for example, yeah. for ten years. So whenever he changes his job, say yeah. to Jurong, yeah. he has to travel that distance. That's right. Even if say he changes to Woodlands, he would have to travel to Woodlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so on that, would you say this model still work as a uh, permanent housing or rent uh, or or should be like rental? No, no. I, 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 I think ownership uh, still the the notion of of of, of ownership. I, I think it's really a, only a notion, right? Actually, you're on a lease, you know. Yeah. yeah. But the notion of ownership uh, uh, has something to mindset make some contribution to the sense of well-being, you know. Oh, I see. Right? I, I think that security. Is, is, yeah, not just security, but identity, like uh, you know who you are, and so on and so forth. All these things are all these things still matter. Like. Human beings are human beings. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So moving on, uh, you know, after after the general election, last general election, the government increased uh, uh, taxes for the water, uh, yeah. thirty yeah. percent. Uh, do you have anything to say on that? Oh, I have a lot to say on that. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> the reason why uh, we have a, a, a military, a air force, navy, and, and army is because of national security, territorial security, yes. right? Energy is also a matter of national security. Mm. Food is also national security. Water is also national security. These are the securities that the state, as a state, right? The economy contributes to the state. The state must manifest its uh, 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 vision and responsibility for these four securities. Yes. Territorial security, food security, water security, energy, energy security. security. These securities must be guaranteed by the state. That's the reason why we are we, we are citizens of a state, yes. Yes. right? So so therefore uh, the the cost, the incremental cost of infrastructure and so on and so forth should be borne by the state and not by the individual taxpayer or user, right? Okay, but it's in, indirectly it will still be uh, 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 an economic yeah. resource yeah. that comes out from the. The working life of people, right? Yes. Because w people who work actually generate economy, yes. and and the economy uh, is is, from, is is the resource from which the state uh, uh, Tax uh, uh, taxes taxes yeah. or, or appropriates a, a proportion, a fee, right? Yeah. Right, which is accumulated into the into the majority uh, 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 resource for 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 the for, for everybody, mm -hmm. yeah. So that is the, the situation on the tax, right? So on food security, uh, what do you have any like inputs on urban food planning? Because uh, as COVID shows us, yeah. we are actually very vulnerable when it comes to like yeah, you know, yeah. when yeah. our borders I mean, are right closed. Now, right now, for example, if if suddenly Malaysia says that we're going to uh, re restrict the flow of, of 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 fresh food, fish, and vegetables to Singapore, we're going to be in deep, deep, deep. Deep, <laughs> deep trouble. Deep ass. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I think uh, food security is a, is a must, right? And also, to the to the extent that we are food secure, that it is to that extent that we have a bargaining position over the supplier. Mm. 
if you do not have a bargaining position, you will be, uh, you, will be you will be held to ransom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so if we were in your in your opinion, if we were to actually uh, redevelop our urban space for yeah. urban urban food planning, how how much of the our food supply can we meet? Yeah, actually, I am and presently working on a master plan, conceptual master plan for the Jurong, uh, for the uh, 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 Kranji uh, farm area. Mm -hmm. Right, it is an area of about seven hundred hectares. It's quite large, uh, with a very large uh, uh, reservoir next to it, the Kranji reservoir. I did some uh, calculations that if we did, if we did several things. One, if we had a a system of stacked vertical farms plus uh, floating fa farms on the, on the uh, reservoir yes. with photovoltaic on the roof, oh. right? We can generate all the power, right, to, to, to run all these things. Yeah. We can be at least 40% self-sufficient in vegetables and fish. Oh. Oh. Okay? So this is a serious proposition, right? The total tonnage of vegetables per year which we require is about 100,000 tons of uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. In my calculation, we can easily produce about between four to four to 500,000 tons. So that, that, that is... Uh, That's actually very promising. Very promising, yeah. Oh. Right. But the question is that who's going to pay for the capital costs? Uh, uh, this is where it comes back to the issue, right? Oh, policy. The capital <laughs> cost of the infrastructure for all yeah. this is a, must be taken as a national cost. Just as the army is a national cost, the army land is, is, is zero, right? The, 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 you, you, don't, you don't charge the, the, the min, mm. MINDEF, right? Yeah. For the, no, SLA does not charge MINDEF for the land. No? Okay. But we don't know. Maybe they do. Okay. But it's an okay. internal uh, one pocket to another <laughs> yes. situation, right? So similarly, the, 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 the farm intensification uh, strategy that I'm proposing will require that kind of uh, uh, subvention by the state on national security grounds. Mm. Okay, before we move on to the uh, user, oh, sorry, the viewer questions, uh, last questions. What's your take on the town councils? Uh, as in the way how is it run today? Because today yeah. it's decentralized, so the yeah, MPs actually right, hate right. the thing. In fact, right now, right, right to this uh, this morning, I mean, I'm on Facebook uh, yeah. making this point. Uh, uh, I mean, for example, uh, uh, Chi Sun Juan makes the point that uh, 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 MPs uh, should be full time. Yes. Right, M implying that MPs should be running the town councils mm. or, or the managing the, the town. I, I, I think it's a totally wrong concept. MPs' primary function is to be a legislator. Mm. That means to legislate in parliament the rules and regulations and policies, right, which affect the lives of people. Okay? By all means, and it's very important that MPs have their feet on the ground. But they don't have to be have their feet on the ground full time. <laughs> they should understand the the, the ground conditions the, and the ground sentiments, right? And and to do so it means that they have to be involved in the uh, activities on the ground. But they should not be running the town councils or the or the or the or the management committees of the of the place. These should be done by professionals. Yes, they should seek the advice of the of the MP. And an MP can also be free to advise, but the most important thing is that they feed back to the MP, so that the MP will bring the, the, the information to Parliament, so that the so that proper uh, debate and discussions happen there, which re, which produce good good policies. Right? It is not the role of the MP to tell the town council how to run their business. No, that's a wrong concept, completely wrong. Let's get rid of this idea. Right. It should be professional running the town, town right, rather right. than so, so the idea <laughs> that MP should become the nursemaid of the of the of the community is an absolutely wrong idea. It's the same idea as we have, you know, that we, we employ uh, uh, foreign domestic workers to look after our children. Mm -hmm. It's the same model. We should get out of this model. In fact, we should be looking after our own children ourselves, right? Oh, that's a different. Uh, that's a no different <laughs> issue. But I think the mentality is the same. You see, that we elect people to quen to go and look after our, to wipe our nose and, 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 and wipe our mouth. That's wrong. 
So last one for me. Uh, what cover walkway politics? <laughs> a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a lot of people. Uh, oh no. In fact, a lot of uh, estate basically have sudden uh, uh, upgrading projects for their covered walkways, and yeah, then yeah. we we refer that as like, oh, showing the residents to uh, that they uh, that the MPs are doing no, their no, job. No, no, all all this 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 this, yeah. this facility should not be politicized at all. They are normal facilities in tropical conditions, right? Which the state through through the policy. Uh, Proposals that it makes in Parliament should just just say that you have to do it. This is the this is the rule of the state, right? The the to live properly in the in, in, in this society to be healthy and to be productive, we need to have to we need to be protected from the weather, right? So it's not something you you, you politically trade off, no, between the the the, the electorate's uh, demands and the and the MPs and the political parties' uh, uh, duties, no. It is a it is a national project that has been uniformly carried out, regardless whether it's uh, from the alternate parties. Yeah, regardless, uh, regardless. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go run to the uh, viewers' questions. Questions. Right. So Karen Yap asks, uh, has the local property market gone haywire with the excessive buildings? Actually, this one. Not, uh, actually, I'm not sure. Uh, no, no. Uh, of course, oh, yeah, I agree sure, sure. with this, right? Yeah. Yes, it's, uh, I, I think that the the the. This relates to the bigger question which I, I raised about the nature of the economy, right? Yes. The problem with the present economy is that it is real estate based, right? It's a cobble because the real estate developer, which, is, which includes the state, because the state owns 80% of all the land in Singapore, right? Therefore, it is in the interest of the state to boost the prices of land, <laughs> right? And the private developers are just too happy to, to oblige, right? Because they have a, a nice cream out from there as well. Right. So, so this rentier economy is being generated through this 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 model, this, this model yeah. which I think is wrong, yeah. right? Because the, the land should be regarded as a, as a national asset to be used uh, strategically for right? citizens uh, to uh, improve uh, the capability of this society, mm. right? But if it becomes an in, but if it becomes a a, a a burden on the society, then it should be changed. Right as as right now, right, too much of our money is being spent on our HDB flat. Right, two thirds of the price we pay for an HDB flat it goes into the land cost. Right, one third is only building costs. Right, so therefore it has uh, soaked away too much of our capital. Right, and that is why we are weak in terms of our innovation and entrepreneurship. We dare not try new things because we dare not risk our money because our money is so tied up. Right, you got to pay the bank, you got to pay the mortgage, and so on and so forth. So this society has been weakened by the real estate uh, 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 rental economy. Let's mm. get out of it. It's wrong. Second question. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, could you go up to the... I think it's from the top. Uh, oh, is it? Okay. So, wow. Uh, this is kind of political. Um, Ricky Martini, uh, how does the present government leader differ from our pioneer jet batch of political leaders? Oh, very simple. Mm. The, the early period of Singapore under Lee Kuan Yew and Goh Keng Swee and Raja Ratnam, they were all center left, right? Because they had to deal with the deep left, the far left, right? Therefore, they had to be center left. By the time, by the time of the 70s, it shifted into center right, right? And now I think they are extreme right, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because they bought into the American model. Right, the American corporate neoliberal model, which Tommy Ko uh, highlighted, right, and in that model you pay yourself millions of dollars because you feel that you deserve it, mm. right. But the whole the whole model is actually uh, leading to the American problem, right. That's why you have the uh, the ninety nine percent versus the one percent problem, right. Yes. In Singapore, it's not as as bad as that, mm -hmm. but we are heading uh, towards we, that. We are right? heading towards that, yeah. and it's very dangerous, right. So our future is actually to become a much more uh, uh, innovative and capable society. But that, that requires structural changes. Mm. It's not just a, a matter of sentimental motherhood statements. Motherhood <laughs> statements. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so from Saj Lee, what's your view in regards to the URL plan for underground cities in response to anticipated population growth? Uh, what spurred the motivation to un undertake the announcement of such a plan? Yeah, is it a figment of imagination? No, uh, but, I, I, but I think the uh, underground cities is really facilities, not residential. Yeah, yeah. but but uh, I I think that uh, there's a misunderstanding here mm. because uh, I think the, the word underground city is yeah. a wrong concept. Yes, right. 
is really uh, underground facilities, yes. right? And and many of it would be used for storage of oil mm. and and. and I mean, MINDEF, for example, has a lot of underground ammunition storage, yeah. right? Yes. You don't want to store this ammunition on, on above like, ground, like right? Like water treatment or yeah, the yeah, sewage, right, right, uh, right, electrical so substation. Right. All, all these yeah. infrastructure things should yeah. be underground, yes. yes. And in, in fact, to go one step further, all the things that are on land at the moment, on the main island, right, which, uh, which do not have any, any uh, need to have in, in interaction with people, should not be on land, mm -hmm. right? They should either be underground Only or, or on floating platforms out at sea. For Those example, are professionals. Uh. data centers. Uh. Data centers should not be on land. They should be out in the sea, yeah. right? Free uh, cooling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, 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 and for example, yeah. uh, 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 container storage. Yes. Why should it be on land? It should be on the sea, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in fact, uh, this is what the Lim Sun Heng, the... the the, the president of the uh, Floating Solution Society has said very clearly, right, that the Toa Sport development is a, is a, is, is wrong. It's a waste of usable. Because right? seventy percent of the total cargo transshipment is from one ship to another ship. Yes. Why do you need land? You need just a floating dock. Yeah. One ship comes here, take our offloads, and puts it on the next ship, right? right? So let's turn the whole of Toa into another uh, 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 human-related facility, right? Right which I have been proposing, we should have a, 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 a new university that, that employs, you know, that engages at least half a million uh, 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 ASEAN top students, right, to interact with our students, right, form friendships, and from those friendships will grow a whole new uh, future. Uh, yes. That is the, the, the when we, earlier when we talked about, you know, building uh, uh, bridges yes. between our, our region, regional and, and, our our, and our neighbors, yes. right? Uh, developing trust. Trust comes from friendship. Yes. And friendship comes from students working and living together. Without an agenda. Uh. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So, I mean, for example, yeah. uh, jo uh, Jokowi's son study in ACS in Singapore, mm. right? So he has a good feeling towards Singapore, mm. right? If Mahathir's sons had studied in Singapore, we would have a very different relationship. Yes. Right, so, so these are the... The, the kind of things that we should do, right? Mm. Uh, Sandra, okay, wait. Uh, okay, this is going on the food security. Sandra mm. Ling asks, uh, were we too absorbed in chasing other things uh, to have ignored the basic need of being self-sufficient in the food? No, I, I don't think that, that there was a, there was a, a, a dichotomy between uh, food security and, and, and other, other things. So certainly, I think other mm. things were also very distracting. But I think food security is beginning to be a more, much more serious issue, right? Mm. We have taken it for granted, you know. For many years. For yes. many years, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I, okay, Carrot, we can skip the next one because uh, I think he answered in, in his speech, the next one. Uh, Sandra Ling from Sandra Ling again. Uh, is URL still relevant to uh, urban planning of Singapore today? Mm. Oh, of course, you need to have a, 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 an urban planning uh, institution. There's, there's no doubt about it. You need that. But I think they need to be much more uh, open in their thinking, right? And that, that's why I had proposed that, uh, in, in fact, in, in a more general picture, I, I proposed that there should be competition between one group of people and another group of people, right? Yeah. For example, there should be maybe more than one URAs, right? So that uh, ideas can be challenged across uh, uh, territorial boundaries. And let the government choose which is a better policy. Yeah. No, a proposal, I mean, yeah. the, 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 I think the future of, 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 of that kind of thing is, is actually social media. Ah. And I think that we, uh, modern societies are moving towards uh, 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 more consensus development through through better communication and, and social media will, will be able to do that right and Singapore is small enough to be a pioneer a leader in in showing how this can work best right in big countries you have a lot more difficult problems right but here I think we can we can show that right we can have a digital democracy right more than any other place without the kind of uh, draconian uh, 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 what social credit system imposed in China, for example, <laughs> yes. right? We can have a much more... Uh, 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 in, in fact, if we impl implement a kind of social credit system mm -hmm. here, it will be, you know, if you have a good idea, your credit goes up. 
So we look on the positive side. We look yeah. on the positive side yeah. rather than on negative, negative right? side. Rather than deducting, yeah, 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 we yeah, increase yeah, the percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Okay, so the short answer is that we need we need the we need URAs. But we need more. We, we, need, we need more 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 open discussion. Mm. Um, so uh, how about uh, or from Gary Chia? What's your view about Singapore smaller islands for residential purpose? Practical considering aside, would it lead to more imagination of how society can be? I, I think isolation, uh, uh, good ideas coming out from 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 uh, uh, people who live in remote locations are good for very few people. Ah. right. A, a, a few geniuses like like Einstein uh, don't don't need a lot of people around them. No? But I think for the majority culture, right, interaction between people, exchange of ideas, openness of, of discourse, right, reasonable attitudes and so on, these are uh, very important, right? So I, I don't agree that uh, we should isolate people in, 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 in little islands, right? Mm. A, a few people maybe, but, but not as a general proposition, right? We should be designing our housing areas, our urban areas into what I call uh, intelligent organisms, because right now our our town planning is 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 based on turning Singapore into an efficient mechanism. Mm. We should be thinking of turning our whole island into a like a living organism, no? in which the human beings are interconnected by the by the central nervous system, like the chi of the society. <laughs> you know, yeah. when you have the chi that flows mm. through the whole society, yeah. right? You have a very intelligent society. You know. Human beings without chi uh, is a dead duck, man. which is at the moment, right? right. Okay. So, so the, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you you look at our, our 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 public transport system, our buses and our trains. Is there any conversation going on? Mm. No, because they are dead places, mm. right? What we want is a, a, a central nervous system in which the schools, the hospitals, the community center, the 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 the, the cultural facilities. They are all interconnected, you see, so that you know, people are meeting each other, learning new things, constantly improving themselves. That is, the, that is to turn the whole island into an educational, intelligent space. A, a question from uh, Jimmy. Uh, can Singapore see bicycle, uh, bicycle cycling as a main form of transportation? And, and from an urban planning perspective, what can be done? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, that, that, that's, but this issue is, again is related to the, to the organism versus mechanism concept, right? In my 3D planning concept, right, the need to travel long distances is totally unnecessary, right? Well, not totally, but <laughs> there are some needs for it, but yes. you know, not, not a major thing, right? So local transportation, walking, bicycles, P PMDs, uh, and so on. This uh, this will be a, a much bigger priority, right? So that's part of the central nervous system. You see, right? When people are moving slowly, they are much more observant. They are much more caring of others, right? But uh, but this caring attitude also needs to develop, right? Because at the moment, <laughs> I, I'm working with uh, uh, on Bukit Batok, uh, trying to, to to harmonize the 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 wheel traffic versus the foot traffic. <laughs> yeah, and I think it can be done. Can be done. On that, since we're on this topic, uh, do, do you have any thoughts on the sudden ban of uh, PMDs, the personal mobility devices? No, I think it's a, it's a disaster because I think personal mobility devices are a necessity, right? I've seen, for example, you know, mothers with, with one child in front yes. and one yes. child behind yes. going to taking them to school yes. and taking them back from school. So that is uh, part of the life of the community. It, it actually it, improves it's, it's life. A, it's yeah. a pity, it's yeah. a pity that, that it has been banned so so suddenly, you know. Yeah. But I, I think that uh, again, it's, it's always the case of uh, a few bad hats create the rules that uh, necessitate the rules <laughs> which apply to everybody. You know? So everybody becomes a a suspect, <laughs> but, but from an urban planning perspective, yeah. is it possible to uh, to uh, to redesign the the roads, the pavements, in such in a way yeah. that you can accommodate the PMD uh, riders while maintaining the safety of the? Yes, yes, uh, yes. We have, we have done this. We've done an experiment, right? We have put in a uh, 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 flexible bollards, oh, uh. right, at at key junction positions where. 
uh, the, the, the speeding vehicle will necess necessarily have to slow down, right? And therefore, uh, be able to harmonize with the, with, with, with the pedestrians, right? And, and of course, also the, the wheelchair people, right? All, all these things uh, have to be accommodated. And, and we, have, we have proven it, we have done it, and uh, uh, we've got the feedback and it's workable. There's a question about the vertical space. Uh, could you help me to scroll, scroll to there? Just now I saw there's a, there's a thing about uh, uh, Mr. Tay's uh, uh, proposal about the vertical space. I, th I think it's not. Uh, can you scroll to the message? I think it was on top. Not this, not this. No, uh, uh, no, uh, up, up some more, the message. Up some more, 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 up some more. There was a question on that. Uh, up some more. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so T Talk says what? You talk about vertical cities. Once you reach a certain level, let's say the third level, you have, still have to tra travel horizontal across Singapore at this third level. So transportation is still required, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes. So, but because you are going to more and more work at home mm -hmm. and uh, your, your, your children will go to school downstairs, right? Your kindergarten is on the, on the roof deck. So the need for horizontal travel is greatly reduced, ah. right? So the purpose of horizontal travel, the main purpose of horizontal travel is actually uh, what I call local uh, in, uh, uh, spatial interconnection, right? Like you, you are living in this area, right? Your, your friend is living, you know, maybe half a kilometer or one kilometer away there. Right, and you're going to meet in the coffee shop in between, mm. right? So you, you you can you can move this way easily, right? But these are not going to be kind of everyday uh, necessity, right? The everyday necessity is to go to school, go yes. to work, yes. go to which you, you know, can dart, travel yeah, within the vertical. vertically, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. But of course, uh, you you may be your your kid may, may may not be going to the school immediately under your block, but in the in the next block, right? So there's some degree of horizontal movement, but within very short distances. So that's not a, not going to be a big hardship. Liu Tan asked this interesting question. Uh, should town council be under HDB rather than uh, elected MP? Uh, I think I, I should. Uh, I, I think I, I, I would even propose this other question. Should the town council elect their representative? Because like in, in, in UK, you have the local mayor, for example. Uh, w w what do you have to say on this? Should the town council be having their representative from the people or should the town council be just like uh, appointed by the uh, member of parliament? Uh, As a who's supposed to hate the town council? Or should it be or just under HDB like what we had before in, uh, yeah. prior to 1991? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think the, like, like any other uh, appointment, let's say you're working in a bank, right? You, you're going to be appointed as the cashier or you're going to be appointed as the accountant or whatever, right? Yes. Your, 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 your appointment is based on the CEO of that, uh, of that organization, right? And, and, and your appointment is based on your capability. If you don't do a good job, you get sacked, okay? Now, the question is that who is going to appoint the CEO, mm -hmm. okay? I, I think the CEO has to be elected. So the elected CEO will be elected by the community, right? And it's different from the and the CEO of the of the management committee is not the same as the as the MP, mm -hmm. right? The MP is his advisor, okay. right? And he also advises the MP, mm -hmm. but he is a a, a a paid appointment, right? Yes. And if he doesn't do his job. The sack. local committee will sack him. Uh, that's ah. all. So, so there's a divide between the legislative uh, aspect and right. then the municipal. Uh, yeah, the municipal uh, yeah. must be uh, uh, accountable to the people. The residents. Residents. The MP is, uh, is, is uh. voted in in terms of the whole community, the whole, whole uh, uh, the con district constituency, uh, right? Uh, yes, constituency. A constituency is made up of many different. Uh, uh, Community segments, mm. right? It's, it's, so that's a, that's a different level of different order, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so ah, okay. Uh, Julian Lim asks: Is there any missing context gapping holes to Liu uh the ten million thesis? 
Sorry, what is the question? Uh, uh, is there any missing context or gapping holes? Or I would say gapping holes to New Tiger's uh, 10 million thesis. Let me the, 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 uh, okay, okay. The, 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 the big missing part is, is, is his economic assumptions. Uh, right, he's made some silly economic assumptions, that's all. Without considering the, yeah, uh, yeah, the change he, of technology. He, he, his is a straight, straight line projection, right? right? Economic growth is the same as population growth, you know? The same slope, right? It's totally wrong. And but but of course planners do make this kind of assumptions, mm. right? So but if you make a different assumption, if you input the, the technological uh, factor, then the the equation changes completely. I don't know whether he's inputted the the economic uh, 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 the, the technological assumptions, right? Which which if he says ten million is necessary for a for a healthy economy, mm. I I think he did not do that, right? Right. On politics again, um, from Ricky Martini, uh, how would more than one political parties in Parliament lead to a better government uh, for for Singapore and its, uh, and the use of its resources? Yeah, more, more more information, more debate, more 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 careful consideration of many factors, right? And 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 the world is becoming much more complex. We cannot have a, I mean, no, nobody has all the answers, right? So I think an op openness in in, in in discourse is necessary. Unfortunately, the the, the 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 political process has become much too uh, uh, acrimonious and much more, much too uh, adversarial, which I think is a, is, is is a wrong culture, right? But uh, I think the culture came out from the from the the, the, the incumbents, mm. right? So the the incumbents have to change the, the attitude. They have a wrong attitude. And, and that attitude may have been okay in the early days, yes. but I think today mm. it is obsolete. In the information age, it's information that mm. matters, right? Mm. It's not power, it's not raw power, you know? Okay, so that's, uh, that's my answer. Mm. Uh, can, I, can, can we see some of more questions uh, from, from the message side? Yeah. Okay, so William Lin asks, right, doesn't the current urban planning system uh, already caters for the mini minimization of traveling whenever uh, possible? Uh, can you scroll down a bit more? Uh, yeah, isn't, isn't the current existing town? They, 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 they tried. For example, the, the, the new town concept, right, in which they tried to, to uh, uh, bring jobs to the to the different uh, uh, neighborhoods, uh, neighborhoods and yeah. regions, right? Yes. It hasn't worked very well uh. because the, the 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 you see the financial sector wants to be clustered together, and that's why you have the central business district. Mm. You know, the financial sector is is one of the major uh, employers of office workers, yes. right? Uh, insurance, finance, logistics, and all that is right. So to move the, move this out into say Tampines or, or, or Haukang and so on and so forth, it's just not practical. Right? <laughs> so therefore, the 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 idea of, of of the of getting work and and the workplace and the living place more closely packed together uh, has has failed, right? But I think because of COVID nineteen, right, it may well work, and this may lead to a serious uh, impact on the. Uh, 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 office rentals in downtown oh. because the the amount of office space uh, right will the reduce, demand for, yeah. will reduce yeah. and therefore uh, many of the office building owners will will face financial uh, stress yeah right so so there will be some structural changes in the downtown area and I'm hoping that the downtown area will become much more residential right become much more part of the the, the living environment of Singapore. Singaporeans and, and as well as all, all the other people, mm. right? Right now it's a dead place at night. You go to a central <laughs> business district, dead at night. Waste of space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like Hong Kong, they utilize it uh, by uh, like in, after evening will be a like an entertainment area. Yeah, yeah but but yeah. because there are a lot of people living in the city, then it, it can work. You see, ah. in Singapore there's nobody there. You go and open a restaurant, you die. Like. Yeah, correct, correct. It's only during office hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a funny question here. Uh, uh, from Sky Lee. Uh, Mr. Day, do you play SimCity? No. No. <laughs> okay. No, no, but I'm familiar uh, with it. Uh, I think it's a... Uh, the, the, the problem with SimCity is this. Huh? Yeah. The, 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 the building elements 
are standardized. Yes. Mm-hmm. We, you know, and that is a matter of placing them, right? But in real the life, challenge yeah. that we have yeah. in Singapore yeah. is that we have, to ev- we have to evolve new kinds of building types, right? For example, when I talk about stacking, right? Yes. right with, with different functions, right? You cannot find that in SimCity, no, right? It's, so, so that's why SimCity is not relevant. It's pre-existing models. Yeah, pre-existing uh. models, right? Yeah. Uh, um, so we were just talking about the power of pre- information. So uh, uh, David Hunt asks, "Are you supportive of a Freedom Information Act?" Yes, absolutely. For 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 a small, compact city of educated people to have no freedom of information is a disgrace. You know, it is in fact. Uh, uh, I, I, wouldn't, I don't want to use too harsh a word. <laughs> it is a form of oppression. Oh. Right. How can you keep people stupid? Right. For example, we don't really know how many poor people are there in Singapore. You cannot find that answer, you know? Ridiculous. And u- universities are going to find out themselves. I hope so. Yeah. 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 So uh, how would you propose uh, that we get about getting there? It, it, to me, I think it currently seems that you, uh, the only way going in back there is to have MPs who support this thing and to pass it as law. I can tell you uh, why, uh, that, why there is a re- resistance to have the Freedom of Information Act. It's because there were many things that were done in the past which we are, we, which are rightly ashamed of, mm. which we do not want to reveal right, to the world, to our people. Right. And that's why t- this morning I, 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 I have been pushing this idea that Singapore needs to have a, 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 a what do you call it? A National reconciliation? Uh-huh. Yeah. Truth and reconciliation process. Uh-huh. Because we need to know the truth. Why did you arrest certain people? Mm. Right? What were the assumptions? What were the evidence that you used? Was it your own political self-interest? that you used to add, to add, to, to put these people in jail for 20 to 30 years, right? Or was it because they actually were, they had weapons in their, their <laughs> who, were, who were about to blow up the place? Mm-hmm. Let's get the truth, because without truth and reconciliation, we cannot get rid of the poison that, that, that produces the kind of bitterness that exists in this society. That's why this society is very acrimonious, no? because deep down, there is suspicion. There is distrust, right? So unless we can then dispel, all right, through the through truth and reconciliation, right, we cannot move forward, because then we, we, we will always be suspicious of each other, you know, because we are afraid that you know some people are just going to blow the lid off, and 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 and, and rich and powerful people are going to be embarrassed, right? Right? They should be embarrassed, <laughs> right? Because it is in the national interest that this society becomes a much more uh, uh, harmonious and much more caring society. And that can only come out from truth. But that will also come out if your incumbent is replaced. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think the, 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 this, this question comes up again and again. Yes. What, uh, what, that, that things will never change. The people say things will never change. I say don't be so sure. Things will change when they have to change. Right? Like, for example, giving money to people, right, had to happen, right? Look, you take, for example, the $100 billion that we, 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 we allocated to, 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 to yeah. overcome this COVID problem, yeah. yes. right? And yet, when, we, when, when the government talked about $10 billion, only $10 billion to build dikes around the island to, 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 and, and $1 billion a year to, to prevent sea level rise, we already say, oh, this is so, so much money, you know, yeah. but, but 100 billion is nothing. Yeah. So Perspective. See, no, no, yeah. situations, ah. when situations demand it, change happens. So change of the political attitude will happen when it has to happen, right? When, when a government cannot gain the trust of people and the economy suffers because of that, the government, whoever the government is, will change. There's a question on environmental and, uh, and, and also urban planning. So, uh, Yong asks, uh, the Cross Island Line is, currently, uh, is planned to be going under the central uh, yeah. catchment forest. From your perspective, do you think there's a needed uh, Yeah, yeah it's, it's needed because of the, the existing planning needs it. Hmm. 
Because existing planning is not what I call the, the organic way of planning, right? It's the mechanism, right? So the mechanism requires that, that this gear must be connected to this gear, uh -huh. right? So therefore, it's a necessity. From from the planning point of view, yeah, right, uh, right, right. But uh, what's what's your thought about the the proposal to to skirt the the central catching uh, catchment forest? It could easily have been done, right? Because the old uh, uh, Lonnie Road could have become the the track, right? Yes, right. But but they didn't do it because yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> so so frankly, it's just a matter of choice. <laughs> I I don't know the technical. What goes on inside the? They, they say the uh, common one because we don't have free, freedom of information. From, we don't from, know the real from from um, the transport minister is because it adds on additional time in travelling. Yeah, how much more time, right? Yeah, uh, it's it's the same right. thing as the uh, library, isn't it? That's right. I mean, <laughs> in those days, I argued the point right? yeah. that uh, right, demolishing the the old library, the national put library, a, put a tunnel. Yeah. You have increased the travelling. You have decreased the travelling time by five minutes. Yeah. big deal. Big deal. <laughs> we lost a mo national monument. That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. And th then that national monument was built by people's money. <laughs> oh no, that was British, British money. Okay, yeah, British money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh no, no bricks. The, uh, refurnished. Sorry. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. That was built by the British. British. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Apologize for that. Ah. Okay. So we are running out of time. So let's take the last two questions. So. Wow. This is what political condition. Okay, let's since this general election. Okay, uh, I, hey, no, no. Should we expect flooding as the way of life? This is asked by Heng Pui Ching. Should we expect flooding to be an expected way of life? No, I, I, if I really recall, um, the was it Masakos who actually mentioned that uh, uh, that because uh, the climate change, the climate change, we were expecting more floods, the heavy rain, unexpected thing. Yeah. Should should that be expected or? Or the provisions for such inc sudden increase of heavy uh, rainfall should be pro uh, should be included in the planning. Oh, definitely. The the, the amount of rainfall it has increased because of climate because of the heating up of the climate, and therefore more evaporation, and, that, and therefore more rain. Right. So the the, 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 the issue is now is a it, it is an important planning consideration, right. The total amount of rainfall that comes onto the island, across the whole island, is three meters, right? Over in one year, three meters. No? You know, imagine the whole island. You put a, a dam around it, right? It will be flooded to three meter high, Whoa. right? By all the rain in one year, mm. our total water demand is only one meter, <laughs> right? So two meters is running into the sea. Yes, right. Therefore, if we can collect that water, we will be water security. We will have water security. Is water su sufficient? Okay. Yeah. All right. So the way to do it is to build a, a, a dike, right, at all the river mouths, right, Kranji River, uh, you know, Jurong River, yeah. whatever, all the rivers, right, and collect the water instead of of of, of uh, flowing into the sea, you know, which means we increase the the, the storage the capacity. Catchment, yeah. When we increase the storage capacity, we decrease the flooding. Yes. It's simple. It's planning. Ah, so it's catchment. Yeah. Um, so last question. Um, can we can we scroll? I think this question is actually not so much. Uh, uh, can we go up? Up up. No no up 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 up. up. Uh, how, how about the? Uh, Okay, yeah, this one, this one. Uh, so, uh, again, going back, uh, uh, it's interesting that we end up... Uh, I think this general election is a bit interesting. Uh, there, there is not much talk about climate, as in the, in terms of policy, in terms of whatever, but the manifesto is actually not really talking much about climate change. So, on this question from Ricky Martin, uh, again from him, uh, while our government is supporting the green environment and carbon footprint, how does our dependence on, on petrochemical complex affect this uh, this desire to go green? Because we, we are, our, our economy is still heavily dependent on uh, petrochemical, uh, the refinery. Yeah. Uh, would you say that there's a conflict when, when it comes that we are depending more on this instead of uh, going to, say, uh, renewable energy? Yeah, okay, okay. But first of all, let's take a global picture, right? Yeah, sure. In terms of Singapore's impact on the global uh, environmental crisis, our impact is very small, 
-hmm. So let's let's get things in perspective. All right. Uh, the question of why are we still so uh, uh, dependent on fossil fuel, right? Is because it is the cheapest source of energy for us. Mm. Cheaper, cheapest source of available energy for us. Okay, we actually shifted from uh, uh, bunker fuel to to uh, uh, gas, mm. right? From the, from from the Indonesia the natural gas, yes. and so on, right? Yes. And gas is less polluting, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I think the future is in uh, nuclear. We should go to nuclear uh, uh, as, as soon as it is uh, safe. Okay. Okay. So the pre precondition is that it must be safe. Yes. Yes. And there are new generation, fourth generation of uh, uranium nuclear base. Yes. Uh, that is quite safe. Oh, I said. For example, all the aircraft carriers, submarines, and and, and naval ships of America are all nuclear powered. Yes. Right? And they have not exploded. Yes. Okay. So the fact is that floating nuclear power stations are inherently much safer okay. because the cool water, the yes. cooling water required to cool yeah. the, the, the turbine, the, I mean, cool the. It's the, already the, there. The, it's already there, right? Yeah. You don't require uh, uh, pumps. Yes. Right? The Fukushima case was because the pumps were destroyed, destroyed. by the tsunami. Yes. Right? And, and because of bad design, yeah. they, they should have designed the, the to be the, such protection. No, <laughs> uh, they should have designed uh, the, 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 the 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 turbine. The, the no the the pump the the generators. Okay, right. Put it on top and not below. <laughs> I say that. below is wiped out by yeah, the by yeah. the wave, right? It should be above that. That's above. the still it be at a higher level. See, yes. right. So so this is bad design. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, uh, photovoltaic and wind uh, power. Right, uh, uh, important uh, alternative, but they do not provide enough uh, uh, power. Yes, for right. consumption. Right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So with that, uh, is there is there any point we'd like to actually highlight to our viewers, especially particular to this general election? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like instead of posting on your Facebook, you can actually <laughs> share with us. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh. All I can say, go to my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, thank you everyone for coming, uh, for for take, taking part in this uh, lively discussion with uh, Mr. Mr. Taking Soon. Uh, and uh, this this uh, live feed, this live stream will be available for uh, future viewing as a safe file. So don't worry if you only join us halfway through. So once again, thanks away and and thank thank you, Mr. Taking, for joining us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you and have a nice day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.